I'm showing you how to use Impact Client with Baritone. To download Impact Client, which of course comes together then with Baritone, as you can read about over here, you want to head over to their official website, impactclient.net, linked in the description together actually with my Discord server, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here you want to scroll down just a little bit and you'll find the download. In this case, for Windows, we can click right over there and as you can see, our download will now begin in 5 seconds. Once you've waited that little bit, the download will automatically start. And now as you can see in our downloads, we have the Impact Installer, which is great. We can double click on that and as you can see, Windows is protecting our PC. It already warned us about this on the downloads page, if you would have placed close attention at least. Um, anyways, I can confirm that it is safe to use. So we can press on more info and then on run anyways. If you do feel unsafe using this, then of course, I'm not obligating you by any means. Um, anyways, for the Minecraft version, we are going to select 1.12.2 right over there. The impact version, you want to make sure that, that is being set to latest. You can tweak these settings if you wish to do so. In this case, I'm not going to install Optifine. I'm not going to include Optifine, sorry, you know, for simplicity. Um, then once I've configured it to my likings, we can click on install right over there. And as you can see, it's been successfully installed now. So that's great. Now, because this is just the installer, you can actually delete this if you wish to do so. And we can now start up the Minecraft launcher. Now under our versions, we will automatically have selected impact 4.9 for 1.12.2, which is exactly what we wanted. So we can click on play right over here. And of course, understand the risks of playing modded Minecraft. So here inside of a random Minecraft world, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually use all this. So as you can see, as the game says, you want to press on right shift to open up the click GUI. This is going to allow us to move our mouse. Here we have all the categories categories you can right click on these and that'll expand them just like so and basically you can click on them to turn them on click on them once again to turn them off the ones that are highlighted are already turned on as you can see there are a few of these that have been enabled by default the HUD is probably the most thing one of the bunch it's basically this little bit down there you can click on that if you don't want all that stuff on your screen um, you can actually also see how these have some arrows here meaning that if you right click on these you'll get a little bit of well a drop down menu um, basically displaying customizations for this specific utility you can scroll as you can see in some of these Make sure you don't miss out on any things there. Um, the HUD has some pretty cool customizations I definitely recommend you look at. Um, compared to some of these, as you can see, most of them do have customizations, some less, some more, but almost each of them allows you to set a keybind. And now those keybinds lead us back into Minecraft over here, where we can actually use commands. Use the dot prefix in this case, and we can type in dot help to get a list of all the commands we can use. Here we can see the bind command, for example, which can be used to bind modules, as you can see. Great, but I'm not sure how to use it. So we can type in dot, make sure you need to spell that correctly, dot help, and then bind. And now, as you can see, I'm getting some command info, as well as the syntax. So bind, module, mode, key, module, key. Pretty simple. So we can type in right there, dot bind. Okay, now the module, let's take flight for that, and then the key we want for it, well, I'll bind it to F. As you can see, we've now successfully bound flight to F, which means that every time I, when I press on F, basically, I have now enabled flight, and I can press on F again, and that's going to turn it off. And of course, it doesn't look so special because I'm in creative right now, but oh well. Now on the pause menu here, Impact actually also has one last little bit of menu, I suppose, that allows you to search, add Impact client-specific friends, allows you to access X-Ray and its customization, as well as some other small things, and of course, all of their own links. Anyways, that's basically that about Impact. Let's move on to Baritone. As for baritone, you want to type dot help in the chat once again, but then with a B behind it, 
Now, as you can see, we have a list of the baritone commands. So just expand this for us right now. Here we have a list. We have the basically short explanation behind it there. Um, and then you can actually click on these and baritone will spit out basically some more information. As you can see, some descriptions and then the usage as well. So let's try it out following this usage. So the goal command, you want to prefix everything with dot B. So this is going to be dot B goal just like that and then the x y and z coordinates um or actually you know what i only want x and z coordinates because i want to be at the same height as i am now maybe i don't know um just as an example 500 and then 400 sure now the goal for the x and z coordinates are the x coordinate of 500 and the z coordinate of 400 now, as you can see, I can use the path command to start heading towards the goal. So dot B and then path, just like that. And we are now going to be pathing. Very cool. And I'm going to let this run. I have no idea what coordinates I spawned in at. So um, I'm guessing this might take a while. Now I've been going for a little while, so let's type in dot B and then proc. Need to type that correctly. Now, as you can see, we have some information about where we're going. Oh, and look at that. We've actually arrived. Anyways, that is that. This does take a little bit of getting used to. Of course, it is really useful that you can simply just, if you don't know what a command does, click on them and then baritone will spit out the usage down below right if you do have any more questions um then do of course feel free to let me know down in the comments but right now thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one Bye bye